hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mundura Frida the African girl today is a brand new day and uh, we thank the Lord for it so um, today we are doing something different uh, I'm with Queen Nancy she's somewhere over there you'll see her in a few minutes and um, today Nancy is preparing a special meal for me yeah um, a Kenyan meal for me uh, the last video we did I prepared uh, pondu for her so she tested it now it is her turn to prepare for me a Kenyan meal that I am also going to test um, we all know that uh, Kenyans and Ugandans uh, there is a way we prepare our things differently though we eat the same things uh, but we prepare them in different ways so she's going to prepare a Kenyan meal for me while I test so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my channel um, like my videos do not forget to turn on your post notifications share with other colleagues and let them know and also go to Nancy's youtube channel subscribe to her channel and um, share her content okay let's show her some love on her channel and um, yeah so let me go over to where she is in the kitchen and then she will introduce herself and we continue from there see you all okay so the chief chef is here today guys chief chef introduce yourself <laughs> hi guys hi how are you doing my name is queen underscore nancy and um it's a honor it's a privilege to be on frida's channel the african girl <laughs> yeah so guys today um, we're doing something different as you can see from the background we're coming live from her kitchen you know guys there's always an issue when i'm shooting the phone we are always told to look at the camera and the camera the is lens is this way but we're looking at ourselves <laughs> yeah so let's continue anyway so um uh, i'm from kenya proud Kenyan okay yeah. I'm from mm -hmm. Kenya and uh, I want to prepare a Kenyan meal for Frida so salt container <laughs> <laughs> African not Ugandan African salt it's so, it's it's African, African. So African. <laughs> we don't misuse things so we want to prepare Omena. Omena is commonly it's commonly known in Kenya or is it in Uganda as well? Yeah, it's very common in Uganda. The word omena. Um not this side. This uh -huh. side we call it mukene or ingenja. Omena is a Luo word and it's mostly from the Luos of Kenya. You know Luos are fishermen, they live along uh, Lake Victoria, that is for the ones in Kenya, but then for the ones in Uganda live along River Nile. Yes, yes. Nile. So Omena is a Luo word generated from Kenya and it has spread all over the world. The silver fish or the small fish are known as Omena, whichever area you go to, whichever country you go to and you say Omena, I think they the person know. will just know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I want to prepare Omena the Kenyan way, how we do it in Kenya, we don't mix it with any other thing. And mostly in Kenya we like it fried. And I've realized that in Uganda you most like it boiled. Wow, well, we paste it. You boil and add paste in yes. it. Yes. Uh, but it's common to northern Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The and central part they fry it. Oh, but yeah. northern we paste. And you know, for us in Kenya, we are told not to combine ginats and omena. If you do, you'll diarrhea. Eh. People haven't diarrhea. No. Nah. And it's very true. For example, I've I've eaten some uh, ginats, raw ginats, right? Mm -hmm. If I try and eat omena immediately, or maybe I'll have to diarrhea. I don't know how people are not. Maybe it's a myth that we believe. You know, anything you. that you believe. It comes to pass. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, so here they are. Come show them. Mena. Here it is. We want to sort it. And let me show you the ingredients that we want to use for cooking this. We have uh, coriander, uh, spring onions. I like spring onions because of the taste. It has that taste that it brings to food. We have uh, the bulb onion. Or is it the white or red? The red onion. The red onion. We have uh, two tomatoes. We have green pepper and one, this was used yesterday, so I won't use the whole of this. And then we have um, Royco. Royco is common, Royco is everywhere in all countries. Ah, then we also have garlic. This is made in Kenya and you'll find it in 
all over the world, even in the West, it's there. And other than that, we also have uh, kels. We call it kels. We call it skuma wiki. This is also another food that has a thousand and one names. Kels, skuma wiki, wherever, wherever. So in Kenya, it's commonly known as skuma wiki. And we're going to prepare this. It's not a very common vegetable in Uganda. That's why we are doing it. But it's very common, very common in Kenya. Yes, so that is it. Right over here, after we've sorted our omena, we are going to wash it in this hot water. We boil our water and we use the hot water to uh, wash our omena. You can wash it twice or you can wash it once according to your preference. That now uh, is in line with someone. It's, it goes according to someone's preference, let me say so. So after washing, we'll uh, let it dry. If there's no time, we'll just dry it using our source of heat yeah so first of all let's sort these out the ones that we are going to to cook yes and that's how we sort it do you also remove the head yes okay. if we have the very big ones if you have these ones are tiny mm -hmm. and mostly for us we like the tiny omena the, if we have the big ones, I don't see anyone that is so big here. But maybe this is not big as such. But if we have the big ones, we do away with the head. Okay. Yes. So we, we prepare it without the head. But that also depends with someone. You can find someone who removes even the head in these small ones. Some, uh, some of my heads have got... Um, sand yeah. so when you eat you you feel that sound and uh, it's not nice so that's why we do remove uh, the head other people have got their own reasons for get doing away with the head they'll be like oh the mena is looking at me the eyes i don't <laughs> want to eat it yeah so each and every person has got their own reason omena also goes well with okra you, you cook it with okra and uh, this slippery vegetable. I've forgotten the name. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, I know it. Yeah. In English, what's the name in English? I don't know the English name. I know the English name, but I've forgotten. It's somewhere. I just remember it, maybe. Guys, if you remember it, we'll put it down below here, somewhere here. Yeah. It goes well with that, also with pumpkin leaves. Yeah, if cooked separately, yes. But Together, in the same saucepan, and you add paste. No. <laughs> no. Hey. I've been in Uganda, I think this is my third week. This is my third week in Uganda. And uh, I've never adapted to pasting food and eating pasted food. Hey, it's not my thing. Maybe I never grew up doing that, so it has to take time for me to uh like it the same way i know i'm going to prepare this and some people would like it yeah yes <laughs> so that is it it and we have to wash you put, it. I think you put it in the sink. In the sink. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let me bring this closer. But then you can also use your hands, but the water is too hot. Do you wash yours with hot water as well? You can either use hot or cold. Uh -huh. But we soak it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
most people use cold water with the hot water it becomes easy to do away with the with the dirt on it and the scales do you know mena has scales as well the small ones i don't know maybe the big ones they, they do even the small ones they have scales you see some shiny stuff on the water these ones here but it's it can you can't compare the scales in fish to the scales in uh, omena We are done washing our omena or the silver fish, so we let it dry to drain the excess water for some time. We couldn't go and air it outside because of time. After it has drained, we we'll add oil. At this stage, also you can add salt. Okay. So the salt gets into the meal. In the meantime, I think I can uh, wash and cut my ingredients. The most important right now is a uh, the spring onion we're going to use it as we fry the omena we're going to add it so it fries together with the omena to bring the taste and flavor and once omena is, is uh, fried and golden brown we fry omena to golden brown once it's golden brown the onions too will be called the brown. Okay. And you see it. Yes, we can add it. There's no chopping board. So we're cutting it the Kenyan style. I was told this is <laughs> how Kenyans. <laughs> I see a lot of this. Kenyans, yeah. I see a lot of Kenyans cut things like this, but eh, it's very scary. If I do that, I can cut my fingers. This is very common. This is how we do it. Here. First cut is the Ugandan way, and I see. I think I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we cut it in Uganda. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that. But there are some people actually who do it that way. Kenyans. Or from uh, wherever in Kenya, there are some people also who do it that way. So, uh, the mina we fry dry like this uh, mm -hmm. is for those who are going to school, especially secondary school, okay. where you eat a lot of portion beans. Mm -hmm. So, they fry it for you like this, then you go with it to school. You'll be adding it in your beans as you're eating food. And guys, uh, you've had a say posho. Posho is the white ugali we prepare yeah. in Kenya. <laughs> in Uganda, they call it posho. Their ugali is brown, made from cassava and millet. Actually, we either call it posho or unga. Ah, unga is now Swahili. Yeah. Yes, but now for unga, we have uh, two types. We even have three. The unga for porridge, unga ya uji, then we have uh, unga for, what is it, chapati, mm -hmm. and then we have unga for ugali. So when you say unga, you have to specify <laughs> which unga. <laughs> and now you people call it unga. We call it unga. Who? Unga. Ah, Swahili is unga, U-N-G-A. Swahili, that is the Swahili word for flower. Yeah, but I think it's the same thing. <laughs> 
it's just that uh, the original Kiswahili mm-hmm. is unga. Mm-hmm. Those of us who borrowed it, <laughs> so we call it unga. The bus carrying Swahili speakers had an accident in Kenya. It didn't proceed to Uganda. <laughs> uh, but uh, for us, if you say unga, uh-huh. that means posho. Mm-hmm. And then uh, if you say ngano, mm-hmm. is the one for baking uh-huh. the all-purpose. So unga ya ngano, that is uh, for <laughs> the wheat flour. Okay. <laughs> yes. Unga ya mahindi, now that is the, the maize or the corn flour. Uh, for us maize is kaka. <laughs> Corn, others call it corn, that is from the west now. So you can see our omena has drained, has drained excess water, you see. There's no water, so at this point we add our oil. Okay. So if you add oil, you can add, if you, okay. The much oil you add, the faster it will dry. But if you add little, it will take some time. You can mm-hmm. even add oil to this uh, level. That means all of it will fry very fast at once. Eh? Yes. Won't that be too much oil? You will drain excess. To that level. You will drain excess. Hmm. Maybe use the excess to cook. Even the, the one I've, 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 I've added here is, uh, I know it will be excess. So maybe you pour it to a different container, use it for preparing. Uh, other fish yeah maybe if you want to fry omena again you use it mm. or if you're frying some other fish you use it but if you are rich enough you can also throw it away <laughs> <laughs> yes hey, you can use very, it to cook beans <laughs> if you are very rich you can use it right away. guys don't mind we'll clean our kitchen once we're okay. done we're going to clean our kitchen so this is how far we've gone as you can see our mena is, is becoming brown it's browning or brown whatever i don't know that that's english or not so it's becoming brown and uh, we have to continue deep frying it for some time and then we'll be just adding our ingredients that's how it looks like If it's red, you can even eat it. Actually, it's red. For some people, can leave it at this stage, and you can eat it with the um, posho or the ugali, or you can add the ingredients. You add tomatoes and all that. It's, you just eat it the normal way. Some some also leave it this way, but then they they do kachumbari. You know kachumbari? Mm. Tomatoes, onions, we cut them together and put them on the side. Salad sort of. Mm. Yeah. Then they do some salad. So you have this on your side plate. You have this on your plate and salad on the side plate. And you eat. Okay. <laughs> so it's actually ready. So because it's much, because uh, this one is too much, and I want to add the, uh, the ingredients and put it to the side. Put it aside, this way. I think I should do it this way. Yes. Our kitchen is messy. Thank you. Don't come for us or you come at us. Yes, so we get back to this paper and now we'll be adding our ingredients. Once we've mixed everything, we'll add this. 
for it. But it's nice, you can have a taste. <laughs> this one is good for beans. His Excellency, Your High Excellency, the tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> then we'll add some little salt so it can soften the tomatoes just a little. Because now we'll be adding Royco, and Royco has salt. Yeah. And also, we had added some salt. Then we can so just add in a little to soften it. Yeah. All right, so as that softens, let's uh, wash our coriander and uh, wash our coriander and have it ready. This will be the last thing we'll be adding as we bring our omena out of the fire. We are Africans and we don't leave in anything. <laughs> Even the ones stuck on hands. Nobody that your hands are clean. My friend. <laughs>
Abel. How are you? How are you? Yes, guys, we are washing. We're now washing our sukuma wiki. We're washing the dirty parts, removing the dirt and mud. Okay. 